Hey guys, I'll be doing an oil change on this uh, 2004 Nissan Quest. And uh, this time I took the wheel off. You don't need to. Normally I don't. I just want to take it off to show you uh, where everything is so it'll be easier to see. Okay. But uh, usually what I do is that I'll take my wraps right there, drive it on a wrap, and then uh, I get underneath here, get to the drain bolts, and also you can get to the uh, oil filter. Very, very easy. The oil filter is on the passenger side. All right. And if you look underneath, right here, that over there at the left side is your drain bolt. It's a 14 millimeter drain bolt. Go ahead and uh, remove your oil cap here. Side. It'll just help it drain a lot quicker. So I have my uh, 14 millimeter on the drain bolt right now. Loosen this. And get your uh, drain pan underneath. And while that's draining, um, I have a filter wrench here. Just grab hold of it. And just loosen it. And make sure you place the uh, drain pan right underneath it so is always going to start dripping from the oil filter. And again, you can do all of this underneath the car with a ramp. You don't need to take the wheel off. And while that uh, filter is off, just make sure no gasket is stuck on it. Because if there is a gasket from the oil filter stuck on it, just remove it. Okay. So if you look at the uh, drain plug, there's going to be a uh, copper uh, crush washer. <coughs> This is what uh, Nissan uses. And basically what I do is I get pliers and just turn the bolt while holding the washer and just remove it. Okay, this comes out. So here's the old one, you see it's flattened. There's a new one. Okay. You can see the top part uh, that you're looking at right now is a little bit more rounded. The bottom is flat. So I usually put the flat side down. Okay, so now the bolt is ready to use. And I have a Nissan filter here. Uh, this Nissan Quest uses, uh, this one's 152086F0C. Now what you want to do is get some uh, oil. Uh, the Nissan Quest uses uh, 5W30. That's what I have here. And what you want to do is stick your finger in the fresh oil and just lube the threading and lube the gasket here. Just lightly. And this pr helps it from uh, seizing and also next time when you go and remove it it's a lot easier. Okay, now that it's down to a trickle, okay, just wipe the area a little bit. It's still going to drip, so it really doesn't matter, but wipe it down a little bit. Put the drain bolt back on. Get a 14 millimeter wrench.
And this one being a uh, copper crush washer, you're gonna have to see it uh, compressed. Until it's nice and tight, don't overdo it, you don't wanna strip it, so. Okay. And on the oil filter side, again, just get a uh, towel and just wet the area. Okay. Now before I put the filter on, let me show you um, the instruction. Nissan is nice enough to actually put the instruction uh, on the uh, canister here. Direction, lightly oil gasket, screw filter more than two-third turn after initial contact. So, and then uh, step number two, run engine, check for leaks. Um, so what they're saying is basically we're going to just thread this on by hand. Okay, just turn it. It goes on very, very easily until it surface touches. I'm just lightly trying to turn it. It's not turning because it's contacting the surface. All right. What I like to use is a, like a filter uh, wrench thing here. Um, I put a little line here so I can see how far I'm going. Okay, so it starts over here. So I want to go two thirds. Actually, a little bit over two thirds, it says, but not complete 360. And usually on these Nissan, it actually stops pretty good. So that's past two thirds. I started over here. And that's it for the oil filter. Just wipe everything down. Pull the drain pad out. Now this uh, Nissan Quest uh, 3.5 V6 requires uh, four and a quarter quarts of oil, 5W30. Uh, So I'm going to put four of these, that'll give me four quarts, and then I'll put the uh, quarter in there of the last quart, one quarter of it. Number two. Number three. Number four. And on the last quarter that you need, most of these containers on the side have these transparent lines so you can see how much oil is used up. So this is the top uh, reading at the top here. And you're just going to pour about maybe up to down here for a quarter right there. All right. Remove the funnel. Place the oil cap back on. Take the uh, car off the uh, wrap, or if you have it jacked up, take it off the jack. Start the car up. Just let it run for a minute. Okay. And the first thing you want to do is check for any leaks on the oil filter or the drain bolts. So just look around, make sure there's no oil spots on the ground. It's clean. The next thing is you want to check the oil level. Here's a dipstick. Now on these uh, Nissan Quest, uh, you really need to let it sit for maybe two, three minutes after you stop the engine to have a correct reading level. Otherwise, the whole dipstick is going to be filled with uh, oil. See on the back side, there's oil all the way up here. If you turn the other side though, you'll see part of it is oil, and then this one actually is the reading you want to take. Right now the oil is um, below the L, the low side. So I'm going to top this off a little bit. After I topped it off, I waited another 3-4 minutes. It just makes the reading a lot easier if you wait, otherwise you can't really see it that well. 
you can see that. Hopefully you can see that a little better. See where the oil is coming up? It's actually right here. Don't worry about this part. But right here is all dry. Okay. That's in the middle range right now. So that's good. Put the oil cap back on. One thing I almost forgot is to show you how to reset the maintenance minder if you have that enabled. And um, I already did it on this car, so I apologize for not um, showing it to you earlier. But basically, if you look at the uh, LCD display, if you go to the uh, maintenance, okay, just press the maintenance. The first one that comes up, it's um, the engine oil. I set mine to 4,000. I do every 4,000 miles. Uh, you can do it more, you can do it less, up to you. Uh, but once you're there, the now, right now, is zero, but normally, this is the one that will measure um, how much distance you've driven, the bottom number. So once you are there, what you want to do is press the trip reset button and hold this down, okay? And you hold it down for a few seconds until it resets, all right? Now, again, I've reset the mine already, but you just reset that, and then that will go back to zero like you're seeing right now. And that's it, you're ready to go. Um, if you don't get any uh, maintenance, um, if you don't get any maintenance minder, uh, one thing you can do is go to settings, okay? If you scroll through the settings, there's actually, actually gonna be a setting for service alert. Make sure it's on. If the service alert is off, it will not remind you when you've hit that interval for the oil change, okay? So make sure you have this on to give you the service alert. And uh, that's it. So if you have any questions, uh, leave me a comment. Um, and thank you for watching. Bye.